Yamaha YZF R6 2006 bike for sale on eBay. We go through the paperwork first. We've got the usual stuff that you get in the envelope with the bike. There's like the the PDI certificate, thanks for buying it, all that kind of stuff. REC, all kinds of stuff like that. There's that. It comes with an invoice for the sports exhaust system, the titanium exhaust. It comes with the owner's manual. It comes with the service book with the service there. The last service was done about 300 miles ago. It comes with the V5 registration document. current MOT test certificate and that takes it through to April the 28th 2010. It also comes with the HPI check which you can see there. Just going around the bike a couple of things to show you on the bike. First thing is there's this decal at the bottom here has been rubbed at some point and the Y is kind of missing off the Yamaha there and it's slightly marked there. If you zoom in on the pictures that are on the eBay listing you can see that more clearly. There's a little mark, well actually it's a little dent on the tank, um, it's just about there, it's quite hard to see but it's about the only mark on the bike there. Um, this is the um, titanium sports exhaust system, um, that's how it's supposed to look, it does end there, that's how it should be. The bike does also come with the original Yamaha exhaust system which is a little bit longer than that, um, but obviously a heavier sort of item. Um, just showing this picture because the bike has been cleaned with WD-40 and protected so there are sort of glossy and matte areas around the bike when you look at the pictures. It's nothing to do with the quality of the bike, it's just WD-40. In fact, I can see on this bit here, there's a little dry edge on it there. This is to show you the um, the RMG towel tie that's been fitted to the bike to lighten up the, the back end of the bike there. Um, this tank pad it is lifting at the corners. It's probably because the thickness of this kind of rubbery plastic material is a bit strong on these very sharp angular sort of edges that you get on the tank on this bike. It doesn't cause a problem like that. It, you might be able to stick it down or replace it or something or just, just ignore it. It's not going to cause a problem. So there we go. Good luck with the bidding.